So this is a CD4046, 4046. Um, this is a PLL phase lock loop um, IC. And basically uh, it has a built-in voltage controlled oscillator. And so the way this voltage controlled oscillator works is you apply a voltage to pin nine and it oscillates based on a frequency range created by this capacitor and this resistor. I have a 2K resistor here and a one nanofarad capacitor here. Um, basically all the other pins are not used other than BCC and ground and pin five, uh, which is this one right here is an inhibit pin and so it goes to ground. Um, I have these rails, uh, the positive and negative rails here backwards from a previous uh, project. So this is actually the, the red one is negative and the, uh, and the blue one is positive. But in any case, when you apply a voltage here, I'm using this, I'm testing it out with this uh, 100K potentiometer wired as a voltage divider between positive and negative. And as of now, you can see the frequency here is 14 kilohertz. This is about in the middle. And so if I back it up here and adjust the potentiometer, I'm going to make it lower. And that gives you a frequency of 1, 2 kilohertz here. And if I increase the voltage here, it goes up higher. Let me increase the resolution here. So this is 24 kilohertz now. I can make it at the maximum at five volts. This is five volts now. I have the pot increased all the way and that's 156 kilohertz. And if I put it all the way down, I could get it to go to nothing. It doesn't go at all. Um, very sensitive to the voltage spike. So basically this begs right now it's at 140 Hertz. Um, I could go significantly higher than this. Um, 23 kilohertz. So in any case, it's very sensitive. So this begs for a voltage control and we're going to try to do a neat little experiment here with an envelope generator and voltage control. And I have put together this very simple, straightforward envelope generator. And it starts with this button, which is pulled low naturally and then connected to BCC. And so every time I press it, it gives a little pulse. Okay, so that works. Now, what happens is, um, I press this button and uh, the input of that goes into this TLO 74 op amp. That input, it goes into, and it's buffered here. Then it goes through this diode and then to the positive end of this electrolytic capacitor. The output of that goes through the this diode and through this 100K potentiometer and then back to the output or of the op amp, the buffer. The signal from here where the capacitor is goes to another buffer and the output of that goes through this yellow wire into the voltage control of this voltage controlled oscillator. And the way the envelope works is 
It's basically a very simple envelope. Um, it is a um, decay only uh, envelope, meaning that the output the, from the buffer goes straight through the diode to the capacitor, charging the capacitor instantly. And then the output of the capacitor can decay slowly based on how much resistance I put through this potentiometer. And so as a result, every time I push the button here, um, let's see it. Oop. You get a quick charging and a slow release. And this is the envelope. And if I change the potentiometer to make it a faster release, that's the fastest, almost no resistance. It's almost instant. So this changes the decay. This potentiometer, if I increase There it is. So now, if I take the oscilloscope probe and put it on the output of this voltage controlled oscillator, which is the CD4046, you get a pattern that looks like this. Every time I push the button, and it's in order to appreciate how the frequency changes based on the voltage applied to it. Let me make it a little bit faster. Just to, if I hold it down, it stays at a fast frequency and I let it go. And you can see as I release the button, the frequency goes, gets slower according to the decay of the envelope. So let's try that again. Oh, you, you can see it even better here on this little capture. You see the change in the frequency. And that's how you could use control voltage on this voltage controlled oscillator um, that's being shaped by an envelope generator. And it's a very simple um, release only or decay only envelope generator. Now, if I had put this first diode through another potentiometer, you'd see um, a change in the attack or the rise of the envelope and in this way you could sort of shape a sound so now i put this very large capacitor here it's a 47 microfarad capacitor as opposed to the um, one microfarad capacitor that i had here before and um, if i uh, turn this on um, you have a uh, you have the capacitor charging um, a little slower because there's much more capacity to it. You can hold a lot more charge. And the decay is gonna be a lot slower through that resistance. So let's try this with the button on the oscilloscope. And let me press the button. And you can see that decay. Right, keep moving this. Let's try it again. Look how slow that delay, that decay is. So now, if I put the oscilloscope probe on the actual output, so there's nothing now, because it's at zero, but now, let's press the button. And it should decay down to nothing.
there we go. That's the decay. Let's wait for a fresh screen here. Frequency is high, then it goes, slows down according to the decay. So let's watch that frequency decay with that slower envelope with a larger capacitor at a higher uh, resolution, 500 microsecond divisions. And you can see the frequency changing rapidly. And that's how that works. So now I change the resistor here to a 2K resistor and maintain the same capacitor. Uh, the 2K resistor is going from uh, pin 11 to ground and the capacitor is going between pins 6 and 7. Uh, the output pin once again is 4. The pin 5 is, the, is going to ground and uh, VSS is going to ground. And now Let's see what the frequency range is gonna be. When I depress the button, right now it's not oscillating at all because it's basically getting zero volts into the voltage controlled oscillator, pin nine. So if I press the button, you get a frequency of 157 kilohertz. And as I release the button, that's gonna be the slow decay according to the envelope generator to zero. And if I increase the speed of the decay by changing this potentiometer, um, that's instant. Now let me make it extra slow. It's going to take a long time. That's a nice visualization of it. Let me make it max. And that's pretty cool. It goes through the whole spectrum of frequencies of this VCO. And I'm gonna leave you guys with the schematic of both the envelope generator the CD4046 chip and the completed circuit from my experiment today. As always, thanks for watching.